Hello, Aries. How are you? Aries. Let us see what's the message for you this weekend. Nine of Wands, Aries. Nine of Wands for Aries. Oh, well, we have an appearance, Aries, with the Emperor. Ten of Swords, Emperor, King of Wands. Fiery. <laughs> okay, Aries, well... Are you waiting for an ending to happen, or did that ending happen, and you are just poised for the next stage? Those cards just fell out, didn't they? They feel like three. They are three. I'm curious, aren't you? Two of Wands, the Moon, three of Pentacles. Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups, the Lovers. I'm just going to throw some cards out. Aries, for the people I'm talking to for this message, this Nine of Wands is actually what you should be doing. I think for those of you this message applies to, you're, you are still healing in the mist, feeling in the Ten of Swords energy. You left something very, very I don't want to say the word important, but it was important to you. You know, you closed out on something that you spent time nurturing, caring, loving for. That makes it important, right, Aries? Here's a connection that you put a lot of time and heart energy into that ended. And you're still in this energy of Ten of Swords. And likewise, too, because you did spend time, energy, love, care, affection, concern for this unit, this partnership, this couple. You know, your energy to provide for someone as an equal an equal partner kind of needs to go into winter mode, winter energy. You need to like step back and recharge and put that energy on yourself, Aries. Doesn't mean that just because you're stepping back in emperor energy, which really is like, you know, helping that other person being committed to that other person, absolutely. You know, absolute energy. Now you're just seeing what's out there. Or at least you're thinking. You're like, you know, actually I kind of say with both the chariot and the ace of swords, this is like you getting around. You're getting around and seeing what else is out there. Let me 
I'm just seeing is just scoping what's out there, working on yourself, thinking about the plan, thinking about the next thing you're trying to move on in with your life. Could be a, a level of impatience here. Again, we have Nine of Swords. You actually are supposed to go and take things slow because you are not ready yet to dive into a relationship with these components. Relationships the components of absoluteness. Still too, too much pain, need to heal a little too much. Take it slow. Could be you're putting yourself out there too much, Aries. Which is why we have the bird in here. You're examining or trying to put yourself out. You're not really feeling it. Interacting with people. Not sincerely from the heart. And as I said, you can't really interact with people from the heart right now. Because you're still healing from the previous one. No matter how much you push, you still have to step back. Allow the natural course of time and your emotions to heal. Logically, yes, you know. The areas I would say in this energy still have a whole lot of heart involvement with that previous situation. That's the message I have for you, Aries. Don't be so hard on yourself. Don't be in a rush. Step back. It's fine if you can't jump off in with someone else. Focus on yourself and put that that uh, energy somewhere else. It's a message I have for you. Aries, let me know if you liked the reading. If you did, give me a thumbs up or a like. If you'd like to donate to the collective readings, you can. I'd put on tea lights and other such things. For those of you who are a subscriber, thank you so much for your energy today. And if you're watching and not yet a subscriber, if you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach out by my email, Mystic Galaxy Moons, it's in the description. Or catch Mystic Moons on a live. Until the next reading, I'm wishing all of you the most beautiful day. Bye bye.